Hi again, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the New Jersey Titans Coaches Show. I'm Tom Wilms, and along with me, of course, is the coach and GM of the New Jersey Titans, Craig Doremus. Craig, thanks for taking the time after practice. Thanks for having me, Tom. They come up a pretty successful weekend, taking uh, four points against the Maryland Black Bears. Always lessons to learn, of course. Do you feel like you guys have turned a corner, though, after a slow start to the season? I don't know if we've turned the corner. I think we're coming along the right way, and there's progress been made over the past month for sure. Um, even some of the games where we came up short, I thought there was some positive steps um, in terms of personnel. Um, and even though the results haven't always been there, I think there's been progression in terms of our growth and maturity and, and player development here. So uh, I definitely think things are heading in the right direction, but I don't want to put the uh, cart before the horse here and say that we've turned the corner by any means. We have to string together a bunch of wins. We dug ourselves a pretty deep hole here early in the season. And um, it's just a matter of worrying about the test at hand and focusing on Friday night right now. Now, there's another comeback performance on Saturday, down 2 nothing after 2, in spite of outshooting Maryland. As much as, of course, you'd prefer to get the lead and get a quicker start in games, is it gratifying to know that no, no lead is going to be safe against you guys? Yeah, I think it's something we spoke to the players about um, in terms of where we were last year. Uh, last year, you know, we felt at times we were never out of the game, and I thought a big reason behind our success last year was even the games where we fell behind and, and went through some adversity. Uh, the guys are mature enough to handle it and just keep battling and worry about the next shift um, and not worrying about scoring two, three, four, whatever goals we were behind at that point. It was just about getting the next one and having a good shift. Uh, so for our team to start showing that growth and maturity, I think is big for us. And uh, I'm not sure that we could have done that five, six weeks ago, to be honest. Now, coming into Saturday's game, you were 0-3 in shootout games. Is, is that even in the team's mind when you get to another shootout or do you just stick to the task at hand? No, I think it's definitely been in the guys' minds, uh, for both the shooters the goaltenders, I would even tell you the coaches. It's definitely something that we focused on. I think you and I spoke about it. Um, we wanted to try to avoid those situations just because we haven't been in success in them. But uh, lo and behold, we find ourselves in that position again and changed up a little bit of our philosophy in terms of shooters. And, and obviously, Loudon comes up big with a couple of saves to seal the deal there. So I think, again, another important growing step for us in terms of being able to get those points in that situation where uh, five, six weeks ago, like you mentioned, just hasn't been on our side of things. So a uh, real positive step there for the group in a number of ways. Uh, speaking of lessons, that's something that's been a common theme. That this is going to be a growing process. Even if you were 11 and 0, there'd be lessons to learn from each game. Now, looking into this weekend against Johnstown, what do you think you can improve upon from the last few games' performance? I think obviously our offensive execution has left a lot to be desired. I think we're generating some great A scoring chances, um, but we're not capitalizing um, as much as we want to do. I don't think we're possessing the puck in the offensive zone like we want to do traditionally here. So I think that's some growth. Obviously, we're a team that's uh, been relatively lethal and successful off the rush in terms of odd man entries and rushes against, and I don't think we've gotten to the uh, – um, I think any coach would probably tell you you want to be better in special teams. I think our PK has been better, um, but always searching for more than – and obviously power plays left a lot to be desired lately. So, um, you know, those are just some things. But I probably if you pull out every coach, they're going to give you similar answers there. I don't think anyone's ever satisfied in terms of their team and their performance. Now, up until a couple of days ago, you guys are going to be off this weekend. Now, two games set out in Western PA against the Johnstown Tomahawks. Always a tough trip. But it's a trip I'm sure you guys are accepting happ happily. So what do you expect Johnstown to really bring into this game, this being your first viewing of the Tomahawks? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, in terms of, of the decisions made here on, on our side and, and in co collaboration with the Tomahawk organization was just we want to keep the players on the ice and playing and busy. Um, obviously, everyone's gone into the season knowing they'd have to adapt on the fly quite a bit. So I think every organization's worked well to, to try to accommodate each other in terms of uh, safety precautions and restrictions and health guidelines. And then, you know, obviously just fill in the blanks as you may be. And that's really what's going on right now. Um, we're fortunate enough in that both teams had the, the off weekend here. And rather than both of us sitting home and not playing, um, it was an opportunity for us to get two games each under our belt. And we'll adjust our schedule accordingly on the back end. But for us in Johnstown, it was important to play. And they're a little bit different from us. I think they've been off for nearly a month at this point. So I'm yeah. sure they're itching to go. And um, our guys, we want to keep going, like you said, kind of getting into a little bit of a rhythm and routine here. And, and we want to make sure that we keep that positive momentum rolling into the weekend. Now, last year, you split the eight-game series with Johnstown. Most of the games were pretty close as you battled for the top of the division. I know the on-ice personnel, for the most part, has changed, but the rivalry between New Jersey and Johnstown has been very strong, very strong since the beginning of the East Division. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, Mike and their staff do a good job preparing their players, and, and obviously Johnstown's a great place to play from – a uh, visiting team standpoint, it's it's a great barn to go visit and, and compete in. So for our players, I think it's another uh, growing experience. Right? So many of these guys are getting to play in 
at big time division one programs and getting used to that atmosphere and, and that hostile environment, I think is important for them and their growth and development as a player and as a man um, and learning to play against all odds at that point. So um, it's been a great chess match between the two teams here going on our 50 here. I think being back to our first year in the league um, when Bobby and I came on board, we've always had really tight matchups with, with the Tomahawks and their staff there. And, um, the chess and checkers gamesmanship going back and forth in terms of adjustments and, and alignments has been fun. It keeps you on your toes as a coach. And I think it's what makes it a lot of fun to coach because, you know, you get to measure your wits against there and see who makes good adjustments and, and what players are able to execute and not shoot themselves in the foot the most. What is also interesting is I believe Johnstown will be allowed fans for this game. So this might be among the first times a lot of you guys have played in front of fans in a long time. Is that something that you're going to talk to the guys about and see if you can calm down the emotions? Because it can get pretty... It can get pretty exciting, you know, when you see the fans, even though they're not on your side, it could be a lot of fun to get out there and try to shut those fans up, so to speak. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know if we're going to talk about it as much. Like, I, you know, it can go two ways. In the past, we've addressed it with some teams, and we probably make them more of a factor than they really need to be. Um, I think you have to see how the game is, what the temperature is, how the players respond. We do have some really uh, mature veterans on the team, and I, their influence on the team has been kind of unique to watch. They have a really good grasp of the pulse of the room, and, knowing where guys are. Um, I think it's a group that doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low in terms of their emotion. So I think that'll bode well for a weekend like this. Um, but I don't want to overemphasize either. At the end of the day, it's really just between the lines and what we do and how we play and how we execute. Um, and I think anytime you start talking about some of those external factors, you start taking the focus away from your job and your task at hand. So um, I don't think we'll address it unless we absolutely have to. Obviously, if it gets out of hand and um, we feel it's getting the better of the guys, then it's something we could talk about throughout the weekend. But I think it's a unique, good experience for them to go through. And uh, and kind of let the bullets fly and see how they adjust on the fly a little bit, and we'll address it as we need to. So it's a two-game series, Titans and Tomahawks, Friday at 745, Saturday at 7 p.m. You can catch all the action on Hockey TV. Craig, thanks so much for taking the time, and best of luck this weekend. Appreciate it, Tommy. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family, and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Absolutely. Thanks to you. Thanks. Same to you. And uh, enjoy the weekend and enjoy it next week as well. The great holiday weekend. Um, that'll do it for this week's uh, edition of the New Jersey Titans Coaches Show. I'm Tom Wilms. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you real soon.